they aren't interfering with anything. Then we'll create a polygon in them. And then this polygon can go back down. glass object go. Glass. Huh. Oh well. We can just make it again. That's another useful tool, the loop tool on an edge. It'll go around the edge loop. Oh. We'll just start that up again. Random max crash for the loops. Generally, it does a good job of saving uh, the file before it crashes, but sometimes it doesn't, and that's why you have that auto backup. So as you can see, it just selected the whole loop there. Much easier than not doing it or doing it another way. It's not going to work though because we need for it to cease. So, oh well. Good try, I guess. This polygon was made oddly, but we can just cut it to fix it up. Now we're going to detach that. We're going to get that. Or I guess we can we have to get this first. We put the pivot point. already there. That's handy. Oh, just kidding. It wasn't already there. glass object. We attach it to object that one. And there, we have our glass back. I'm just going to save this as
tutorial file I was using so that it doesn't get mixed up. And now, these walls here, these ones, they look kind of odd just being flat like that, so we're going to spice them up. Those aren't straight, so we have to straighten them a little bit. But then what we are going to do make this part of the glass there, but that shouldn't be too hard. Now, actually, we'll bring that down to there, straight it, and then do that. So we can get it filling up that part too. the loop tool again. Bring that down to the right height. Since it'll be faster. 
we have to get rid of these ones too. Sometimes it can be awkward getting into a place where you can see those. Then we'll create this one because it's a little more complicated than simple bridge. I think I want to do the same thing here, and maybe again over here, just because it seems like a long time, or a long... I don't know what it is. A long expanse of glass, I guess. Too long, in my opinion. So... And this is an angle snap toggle, which means I don't have to fiddle out about with an exact um, angles, as you can see down here when I spin it. It goes in increments of five. I'm not sure why it's screwing up here though. Oh, because I didn't select all of them. That's why. Let's try that again. I just shift and drag that. Oh, I guess they're a little wider here. Hmm. First of all, this glass is kind of annoying me, so I'm just going to hide it 